Hey everyone, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. It is December 25th and I wanted to do some updates because I woke up this morning just after 7 a.m. to a bunch of earthquakes just gently shaking me awake in Reykjavik here. Now, there has been quite a number of earthquakes over the past 24 hours and you know some of the footage we're looking at here is, is what I shot back when this Fagodos Beth eruption actually occurred way back at the beginning of the year i went and i saw it here and when it was tiny and just one cone but in terms of the actual uh, earthquakes that have been going on there was a magnitude of 4.2 that was measured southeast of fagelsbeth at around 7:25 this morning and uh, there have been continuous earthquakes if you've been following the channel since around last tuesday um, and there's no really sort of release or, or let up of all of the seismic activity and uh, there have been a bunch that were measured over a magnitude of four yesterday and and the largest was measured on wednesday it was 4.9 and so there's there's that shaking that's been going on now the situation is still unclear according to the meteorological uh, office here in iceland and there's no signs of eruption so far but the experts are very closely monitoring the situation and uh monitoring around the clock even though we're through the christmas and holiday seasons now one thing that i want to do but let's take a look at some of the maps here before we uh before we jump on we can see based on this graph here and you know these green stars those are earthquakes that are over a magnitude of three we can see that it's starting to spread it a little bit but it is definitely clustered in the factors area that uh that we know the eruption occurred last time Taking a look at the table here, you know, we can see again there's over 2,000 earthquakes. It's actually gone up over the last 48 hours. So before I think it was around 2,200. Now we're looking at 2,300 or so. And if we look at a magnitude of three and larger, uh, we can see there have been a couple. They were in in the morning and overnight, but the depth before we were seeing stuff around you know the four, five, six maybe even seven kilometers deep and now we're sort of more concentrated around the threes and the fours which may mean that it's moving upwards it's it's definitely hard to say but one thing that i do want to sort of point out is the news agencies here they were saying that there is this uh the icelandic word is oropos but basically what that's saying to, to me here is it means a harmonic tremor and they're measuring this at fagelsfeld from uh, around 10 o'clock this morning uh, after the earthquake of 4.2, which is said, and the pulse is considered to be an indication of magma rushing below the surface, which has not yet reached all the way to the surface. And what they're saying as well is that in March, the disturbance pulses were also measured in the area and led up to the eruption in Gelingadalur two weeks later. Uh, and an expert at the Icelandic Meteorological Office's Nature Conservation Department said in an interview with MBF that the seismic activity and the turbulence are chemically similar in behavior and location to what it was before the eruption started in March. So that's definitely something to be uh, pointing us in the direction that perhaps this is going to erupt or re-erupt. Not sure if it would be considered a new eruption because it has been over three months since the lava has uh, stopped flowing and they officially, just like a week ago, declared it completely over. But, um, you know, these turbulence pulses measured were measured around two weeks before the eruption in March and then several of them occurred after the eruption and the chemical similarity supports the conclusion that, of course, things are very similar. And it wouldn't be a surprise if it erupted, but also they're saying that it also wouldn't be a surprise if it didn't erupt. So it's kind of that whole thing. It's like maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know, 50-50. And we've seen this many times before. So yeah, just wanted to give a quick Christmas update on this. Earthquake still going on. Starting to feel them more and more in Reykjavik. Uh, I know last night at midnight there was another big one, but I didn't feel that one. And we will see how things progress over you know the next week next couple days even we, who knows maybe we will get two eruptions in the same area within the same calendar year so we will see but until then thank you so much for listening and watching and subscribing liking the videos it has been a 
great year and I appreciate everyone that follows along and I'm happy that you enjoy watching these videos for the most part and we'll see what happens. So if uh, that's it, I hope you all have a great day today. Merry Christmas or happy holidays, however you want to celebrate it and I will keep you informed. Thanks so much.